So this is the Ornaments and Crime. It's a digital macro modulator or LFO generator. It has four trigger ins and four CV outs, four CV outs and four CV ins. Um, this module actually has different sketches. You can load them. You don't need to. Uh, you can you can actually load them on on the fly the sketches. For instance, this one is running the Lawrence Attractor uh, sketch, and this one is running right now the the Quadrature uh, LFO sketch. So if you want to change a sketch, you just need to hold this one, and you will get the list of all the sketches that you have available. So Copper Machine, Harrington, Quadraturia, Lawrence, Pickens, many, many, many of them. I, I'm going to show you just two of them today. So Quadraturia is a Quadrature LFO. You get f uh, an, an, an LFO Quadrature output on each one of, of, of these, so four outputs. Um, I, right now I have two prismatic rays, one on, on the horizontal and, and another in, on the vertical, so you can see the, the modulation. And I'm gonna patch the A output to the, to the frequency of the first one and the V output to the frequency of the vertical one. So as you can see, it's really weird, fast, because the CV, CV range now is from, I think, 0 to 5 volts. So if you want to scale that down, you just need to go to output range, and then I will put less range, something like this. So we have uh, something between 0 and 1 volt. As you can see right now, both LFOs are in sync, so they, 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 they both are running at the same frequency and they are on, on the same phase, but you can actually uh, 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 change different things for, for them. For, for instance, you can, if, if you put the phase frequency spread, you can change that, so they will start learning, running at different ratios. And you can see this effect. You can also shape spread. So if uh, the shape is, is there are a lot of shapes here. They are they are moved from uh, non-continuous shapes. So something like an exponential from zero to the maximum value. And then you have a, a straight line, then something like a sign. So I like to use third shape 130 so on because you get something like a something like an LFO, like a sine wave. And and you 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 can actually make with the shape spread each one of the outputs have uh, different shapes also. So if you add a little bit of spread, each each output will 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 be added to the to the base shape that is for the A LFO. Um, also, I have a, a sensor translator here that you can you can uh, input the trigger, and this will uh, re-trigger or re, re, uh, the, restart the, the, the face of all the shapes so you can see how everything is being uh, restarted with, with, with my voice. You have also this uh, visualization of the four LFOs. Right now the, there's not a lot of movement because the, the range is from 0 to 1 volt. This, one, this module can output from minus 3 volts to plus 6. So, depending on that, you can you can adjust that, and you have a ver this very cool animation. Also, <clears throat> you can change the frequency radio between A, B, C, and D. So you can have unity, which which means all the all the. Let me put this again on zero, and the face on zero. So here you you globally control the the face frequency spread, but here you can control individually. You can have the B frequency ratio to be four fifths, uh, two thirds, 
three fifths on a half so you have different options for for each one of the outputs for for B C and D related to the A output so you can see how A is B output is one eighth slower than the A output and you can also have some XOR XOR operations for for the output so for instance if if if, if this one B at big XOR A it's turned on or to any of these value you get some math boolean logic math doing on on, on the A plus the the B uh, on the B output basically so you you and and this is not very interesting right now, but if you start uh, increasing the 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 frequency, you can get actually something useful for video. So we see something like this. You cannot, of course, fine tune very well because this is digital LFO, but it works pretty well. So this is the this is the first uh, sketch I wanted to show you. The second the second sketch. The buttons here are just to to change the increments by by 32 instead of having the frequency cores moving by this encoder. So you can jump from 32 to, to very fast. This, the, all these buttons and, and, and colors change depending on the, on the sketch. So, uh, another sketch I wanted to show you is the Dialect Ping Pong. For the Dialect Ping Pong I have this um, uh, Navigator Shape Changer Ball. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to patch the... Uh, well, you, also, you have four outputs. Uh, for this, so each one is an, an individual bouncing ball simulation. You have uh, gravity. I will input the trigger one that will trigger the first the first ball to 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 bounce. So you can see now it's been triggered by the sensory translator. And uh, same as others, you can have you have several parameters like gravity, bouncing loss, amplitude. You can map the CV, the CV inputs to different parameters like gravity or amplitude or velocity or whatever you want. So you can assign them. Uh, you can choose which trigger you want to use for for this trigger A. So for 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 so if I want to use B, I can say also I want to use the one. If I if I say C, I I say also the one. So you can trigger the fourth bouncing balls with the same trigger if you want, trigger one, and have them different, I don't know, uh, velocities, bouncing loss, gravity, let's put some very low gravity on this one, let's put some extreme gravity on this one, and then let's put, I don't know, uh, some really uh, amplitude greater amplitude here. So okay. So now when we have the visualization the, the screen saver of this, you will see how each is which one of the four outputs uh, goes uh really crazy <laughs> on, on different uh parameters. So this 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 ball we have here what we want to do is uh to to input uh to input the 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 Y voltage control input of the navigator. So when we have this, we have this bouncing ball. It's pretty cool. So we you can of course adjust if you want it to bounce less. There you go. So maybe you want to try. Yeah, I, I I think this input is is okay. So, cool th more cool things you can also uh, input this to the ratio or the size of the of the shape changer. So you get this. 
a bouncing ball. Let's put a little bit more of amplitude. There we go. And so that's it basically. So you have uh, pre complete uh, modulation source, very small, very interesting. Uh, highly recommended.